This is where the journey ends for a 14-year-old boy from Honduras. He started with $20 in his pocket, but Brian Duvan ran out of money on the Mexican side of the Rio Grande. He says he's hurt if you don't pay the smugglers who take you across the river, you'll be kidnapped or worse. And while Brian Duvan is stranded in Reynosa, thousands of children from Central America did make it to McAllen, Texas, to temporary processing facilities and makeshift shelters. You know, whatever you think about immigration and, the, and border security, these are children. Hundreds of miles north, Dallas County's highest elected official has become a flashpoint in the immigration debate after offering unused buildings to house up to 2,000 of the unaccompanied minors. We can take some pressure off of those border troops and allow them to get out of the child care business and get back into the border security business. An invitation that puts Clay Jenkins, a Democrat, at odds with his politically conservative state. I am opposed to it. It's taking a federal problem at the border and moving it up to Dallas County. We are not in favor of the illegals being here in Dallas. Uh, he is breaking the law, and shame on him. Jenkins' office has been inundated with calls like these from around the country. His proposal also not sitting well with some potential neighbors. Something needs to be, that kids need to be housed, but, you know, why our neighborhood and why here and why wasn't we in a form? Jenkins admits his offer is still a work in progress. Several hurdles remain. But as more children cross the border illegally, more cities are searching for concrete solutions. And for a 14-year-old boy, a decision. Swim or figure out how to pay smugglers to get across. Equally dangerous propositions. John Moan Associated Press, Dallas.